Hi! Welcome back into my kitchen. One of my subscribers asked me to watch a video of this guy making in bis biscuits that only took uh, two ingredients. And I'm, I'm halving that recipe and I wanted to share it with you all. I've got two bowls here. Both of them with one cup of flour. If I was making the, the full recipe, it would be two cups of flour. But I'm using one cup of flour and a half a cup of whipping cream. I preheated the oven to 450 degrees and I'm just going to get this these two ingredients incorporated so they like each other and this will be a very dry dough but for those of you who are afraid of making biscuits I, I am told that it's uh, tried and true. He made them on his on his video and his name is Ammo Head 73 if you want to watch him make them. But anyway, here's our dough. You might need just a hair more because I don't think his was yeah, maybe so. Alright, so I've got I'm going to shove this to the side here. I've got some flour out on this thing, but I'm just going to pour this out. You don't pour it, you really just scoop it out. And I'm going to knead it about 10 times, maybe 15. But you can see that it's very dry. Very dry. So to knead, let me get this out of the way. To knead a dough, and you, you've got to do this part because you have got to get that gluten working. So you just kind of roll it with the palm of your hand, just like that. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. I think that's probably enough. Very dry, very dry. Now I've preheated my oven. Remember, this should be, um, this is only half a recipe. I preheated the oven to 450 degrees and these are going to bake 10 to 12 minutes there won't be very many biscuits here but I've got if you noticed another bowl over here I'm going to try the same recipe putting it on the same um, cookie sheet with just full strength buttermilk so I am probably going to get four biscuits out of this I'm not going to cut them out. He did cut his out, but I'm not. I am just going to make these square. That way, I don't have any wasted. These are going to be mighty big biscuits. I don't have anything wasted. Just leave them square. Put them on a greased cookie sheet. And these, this is about how thick. I don't know if that's a half an inch between a half an inch and a quarter of an inch and I'm putting this these biscuits on the um, left side of my cookie sheet now I'll be back I'm going to do the exact same thing with this cup of flour this is self rising flour using a half a cup of full whole buttermilk and then we'll be back Alright, here's our biscuits. These over here on the left hand side is what I made with the whipping cream. On the right hand side I made with whole buttermilk. 
Now I know this these will work. This over here is an experiment. So I'm putting them into a 350 degree oven on a greased baking sheet for 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll be back. All right. I baked these for 12 minutes. These are the ones with whipping cream. Look how high they rose. Woo! This is the one with the buttermilk. They didn't rise as high and they're probably not as good. But we're about to find out. Let's do, whew, goodness, let's do the whipping cream first. I got a plate here. Let me move this out of the way. Get my plate here so you can see it. I open up this biscuit. Can you see? Let's see. I am so bad with this thing. Here we go. Break that bad boy open and it's moist. I'm going to put a pat of butter on that. Well, a couple of pats. And cover it up. Let that melt. Now I'll get one of these buttermilk, the buttermilk biscuits, which didn't rise as high. And they didn't get as brown on top either, but they're still, they're moist inside. I'll put a couple of pats of butter on that. And, and um, although it didn't get as brown, I had a little bit of flour on this. For, for some reason, the buttermilk biscuits um, were not as dry when I was making them. So I had to put a little flour on them because they were sticky. So, uh, the flour prevented it from browning as, as much as the other ones. Alright, let's give the butter, the um, whipping cream biscuit a taste here. Butter's not melted and I'll just do the best I can. Mmm. That is a very good biscuit. Tender, mmm, a little bit crunchy. It's got a really good taste. Now we'll go to the buttermilk. Cause I'm more apt to have buttermilk in my refrigerator than I am um, whipping cream. I usually buy it for a purpose. Mm. It has very good taste to it. Very good. It's just a slightly tougher, slightly, than the whipping cream biscuit. But for those of you who are afraid to make biscuits, this is the perfect recipe. And remember, I halved it. So I got really eight biscuits out of what should have been the whole recipe. If I knew how to do a link, I'd put a link to his website, but I don't. So I will put the ingredients for the full recipe below in the, um, in the about section. You'll never be afraid to make biscuits again, I'm telling you. These are just so worth it. Either one. Well, thank you for coming in today and spending part of your day with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you again. Take care.